Welcome to Upgrade. I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and today we're going to actually upgrade our unit, our system, our server um, from four drives to four drives again. But we're going to add a 10 gig, a 10 terabyte drive into the Synology. So let me go ahead and take you step by step what to do next. Um, first of all, you have to turn it off. You have to take the hard drive out. Once you turn it off, you're gonna have to do what I do next. So go ahead and take out the take a look at the steps. So this is our Synology right now. If you guys can see it, it's a DS four sixteen um, J version. If you guys can see it. It has four drives. It's the home edition version of the Synology. Um, had it for a couple years already. Really good. I keep all my files and documents in here. Um, it has four drives right now, and it's time to upgrade it because uh, we're running out of space. All right, as you can see, we're gonna clean it up a little bit because it's dusty. Um, unlock these screws, all right? And this guy wants to get involved. You wanna be in TV too? He wants to help me, so Toby's gonna help me out today. Um, he likes to help me out once in a while and be on camera. No, no, Toby, no, Toby, no, 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 no. No, Toby. No, Toby, don't let this. You gonna electrify yourself, or you gonna electrify me after when I turn this shit on? So, Toby licked up a couple of dust particles. Uh, just unscrew it, and uh, of course, like always, there's dust. So I'm gonna clean it up as much as we can. All right, so we unlocked everything. Uh, we need to take one of the drives out and replace it. So before we do that, we wanna make sure. Completely. As you can see, um, I remove all the screws, but look how dusty they are. I recommend you clean them out too. At least if you're here, might as well clean them out. So I clean the bottom. I'm still gonna dust some more. Now we're gonna start from the top. We're gonna remove the top one, if you guys can see it. And we're gonna clean the top one too. Uh, we're gonna replace one of them. So I just, there's three of them in there, if you guys can see it. All three of them are installed. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and remove one and install it with the new version of it on the new ter 10 terabytes All right, so we're gonna put a 10 terabyte and right now currently have three four terabytes in there So we're gonna add one today and next month we'll add another one and then the following month So as, as prices get cheaper or I could afford it We're gonna keep adding some more but for now We're just gonna add one ter terabyte in here and then replace it and keep adding So this is the existing four terabytes that we're gonna replace and we're gonna go ahead and include it in here and Make sure you properly set it up and um, Inspect it, but don't shake it too much because these are very fragile all right, let's continue. All right, so the SATA connection part of the connection, if you guys can see it, it's on the outside of the case of the holding. So we're gonna slip it in there. And here it goes. That's 10 terabytes going in there. Just make sure it locks in and it locked in. And then all we have to do is tie it down here with a couple screws and we should be good. So let's go ahead and continue on the actual um, web version of it um, one needs to be installed and one needs to be set up before you use it okay now we come here to the system the system I replaced the hard drive right now and as you can see it's not ready yet and there's an issue with it so it's telling me it's crashing it's blinking it's, it's, it's doing all sorts of noise it's asking you to uh, restart automatically after power failure enable power no okay so we got that beeping sound we're gonna turn it off it has to be equal or larger so in order to do that we say we've been replaced click go to actions and repair and there's a drive that we see we next hit next all the data uh, all the data newly added drive will be erased okay hit okay and apply and it's saving it and it's gonna start forming that system and it's gonna start integrating all your data so that's pretty much it does it we're getting the drive and this is this gonna take a while so it's not gonna be uh, instantly all right so you have to go in there and, and maybe check out the status when it's complete and right now what I identify is a hard drive that was failed as soon as you removed it it, it comes back and it keeps asking you hey 
you got to add the either equal or larger amount and we so once you install it it tells you here exactly how to repair it um everything on the drive that you install it's going to be wiped not the not the not the stuff that you currently have on your drive only the new drive right just to let you guys know so don't panic once it identifies you fix it it repairs it and it's going to take quite a while i'm not that one percent at all and it's going to be maybe a couple hours before we see a hundred percent or maybe a whole day or two so we're going to let it run and it still works right now you could still access your drive but i wouldn't recommend you drive access and anything let the drive run itself and let it fix itself and then at the end of the day you should have more volume to your drive and if you have any questions or any comments hit me up i'm your host frank the tank out.